Hi everyone, welcome to this edition of Do The Extra Credit. My name is Brandon. Hey everybody, I'm Brenna, and we're on the district success team here at Clever. We know many of you are excited about spring training for baseball or spring cleaning in the home, but here at Clever, we're excited about spring pilots. With just a few months left in the school year, now is a great time to pilot a new feature to determine if it'll be a helpful tool for next year. Our favorite feature to try? Clever Badges. Clever Badges make it even easier for your young students to access online learning applications through Clever. As a former teacher, I know how long it can take for a whole class set to get logged in. With badges, an entire class can get logged in in a matter of a few seconds by simply holding up their physical QR code to a webcam and getting logged in. The best part? Clever badges are offered at no charge to districts. Let's take a look at our new badge distribution process and then talk about a few best practices for your badges pilot. Over to you, Kirsten. We've made it easier than ever to download Clever badges for your pilot schools. I'm going to show you how inside your Clever dashboard. On the left hand side, go ahead and click on settings and then click on badge settings. This is going to take us to the page where we'll do all of our additional configuration. On the config tab at the top, we'll use this page to select which students in which schools uh, we'll give Clever badges to. So here I've selected kindergarten, first and second grade at a few of my elementary schools. I'll click save selection and then move on to the distribution portion. Here I can download badges for all of those students by clicking the all button on the right hand side. This is also where I'll come to download badges for students who have entered the district recently by clicking the new button. There's one other feature I wanted to let you know about which is Clever Badges and Chromebooks. This is one of our most powerful features at Clever. With this integration, students can open up the lid of a Chromebook, hold up their Clever Badge, and they're instantly logged in to their Google account, the device, Clever, and all of their Clever applications all at once. There's more information on getting that set up under the Chromebooks tab. We've also made it easier than ever to download badges for just a few students or for the entire district. In the upper right hand corner, you can click to download badges for all students or to find a particular student and download his or her badge. If you have questions, our Clever Badges Guide has a lot of great information for you. We'll also give you some best practices next. As Kirsten mentioned, you can pilot Clever Badges this spring in three easy steps. Step one, start small. Pick one or two elementary schools to test out this new feature. We recommend choosing a tech forward teacher or school leader who's excited to embrace new technology. Also include a point person, like a media specialist or an ITRT, to help you champion this new tool. Step two, educate your teachers. One of the best part about badges is that teachers can print or avoid badges for their students right in the Clever portal. We also recommend emailing our Help Center article that explains how teachers can manage badges. And we even recommend embedding this Help Center article in the Clever portal so they can access this resource at any time. And step three, make them fun and easy. Whether you place the student badges on the student folder or create lanyards for students to wear around their necks, ensure the badges will be easy for students to use and won't be easily lost or damaged. So there you have it. Clever badges are easy to set up and you can get started now. No, really, get started now.